In this ROS2 navigation tutorial, I will show you how to use Nav2 to navigate your mobile robot in Arvis. So if you haven't seen this video already, go ahead and check it out, the Slam Toolbox Simulation tutorial. We will be building on top of that, so it might be useful for you to check it out. But in this video, our main focus will be the Nav2 toolbox. So we will go over how to install the Nav2 toolbox, go over how to remap the command velocity for Nav2, go over how to start the mobile robot simulation and view the SLAM map, talk about how to start Nav2, go over how to set up the cost map in Arvis, and finally go over how to navigate your mobile robot with Nav2 in ROS. Okay, so to install Nav2, it's pretty simple. You want to run this command here, sudo apt install ROS, and your distro version, I'm using Humble. But here you have two main things. You have the navigation to, and then the nav to bring up. So once you run this command, you should be up and ready to go. Okay, so now I want to talk a little bit about remapping. So when you use nav to, by default, everything is set up to work with command velocity. So one of the things to note is that uh, if you have a robot set up, sometimes by default, you might be using a different command velocity. So in our case, in our previous SLAM tutorial video, we were actually using the diff cont command velocity unstamped. So in order for nav2 to work, you actually need to remap it. So I go over step by step how to do that in more detail in uh, one of my documents here, the how to remap command velocity for nav2.md. It's on my website, so you could go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna link it in my comments below. But the main idea is you want to go into the launch file and then edit that. So I'll, I'll lay out the details there. So go ahead and check it out. So now we're going to talk about how to start our mobile robot simulation and view the SLAM map. So go ahead and CD into your folder, source, and then we want to run this command here, the ROS2 launch wheel robot gazebo.launch.py. So this will start up our Arvis and gazebo. So I've already sourced it and everything, so I'm just going to run the command to start it. And once you do that, you're going to see your gazebo show up. So this we covered in our SLAM tutorial on how to set that up. But our main focus will be Arvis here. So here you can see we could view our simulation in Arvis. We've created our map previously in our SLAM tutorial. So um, you could try to play around with creating different maps if you don't like how your map looks like. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of trial and error. So here you can see that all of our map has been loaded and then our next step will be to uh, set up some of the cost map, run our nav2, and then we could actually start navigating it. But this will be the foundation to get everything started. So make sure you can do this properly. So how do you start nav2? So what you want to do is um, we're going to CD and then source inside another terminal, and then we're going to be running our ROS2 launch, uh, the nav2 bring up navigation launch.py. And we want to use um, the simulation time to set to true because we're using a simulation and we want the other stuff to be in sync, the other nodes that we have set up. So if you go ahead and run this, this will start up the navigation and this will allow us to proceed in our next step later, which will allow us to set up the cost map. But to actually see the cost map, you need to make sure that we run this launch file. So. What this does here is it'll tie some of the commands together to our actual robot, which we'll see later on when we're actually trying to navigate it. So right now we see our typical map, but what we're going to go over now is how to see the cost map in Arvis. So to actually see your cost map in Arvis, you want to click the Add button um, in the panel under your displays here. And there's a couple ways to get there, but Usually I like to go to the by topic tab and then you're going to see here the global cost map cost map and then the map. So once you see the map you want to click OK. So you can see that there's these regions that pop up. So um, the gray regions are what it expects to be obstacles and then the white is not obstacles. So you can see it has a general um, outline of the square that we previously created, which represents the walls. And if you want to change the color scheme, what you can do is come down here and then click on cost map. 
This will give you a colored view, which is a little bit easier to see. So that's just an optional setting that you can play with. The final step is to navigate your mobile robot using Nav2. So now that we have set up everything, we have our map visible, we set up our cost map, and we also launched our Nav2 with the Nav2 bring up. This will actually be connecting the command velocity to the actual robot. And you, if you've done your remapping properly, which I've laid out in my website, then your robot should be actually connected. Because otherwise, if the command velocity is not mapped properly, then your robot will not move. So you want to go up here and click on the 2D goal pose. And then once you do that, you could click a starting point, And then you could drag the arrow to where you want it to go. And once you drag it to the direction that you want to go, you release your mouse and then your robot will start navigating. So what this is actually doing is it's sending um, pretty much the commands the commands to navigate the robot. So you have like a, some direction and some angle. And sometimes the robot freaks out as you can see here. So um, you could look into details of why that's happening. But you can see as it keeps moving, it eventually uh, kind of steadies, steadies a little bit in terms of the direction, and it finally settles to a final direction. So this is a little bit glitchy, probably because the map is not perfect, but you could play around with that and see if generating a new map might help. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.